at Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are going to be taking a look at this Tanpura. And it has this great case and it is giant. The Tanpura is used as a drone instrument in Indian music. It basically provides an ambiance for the rest of the ensemble or for a singer or another melodic instrument. Played properly, it's an incredibly beautiful sound, very relaxing and interesting. Played by me, you know, we'll have to find out. First thing we gotta do is uh, tune it up. Okay, well those, those are basically the same, so that's good. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. My understanding that basically what's supposed to happen in here is you got one person making Indian music who is just kind of like making this happen, like. I mean, it's kind of awesome. Under the influence of mind-altering substances, I could see myself doing this for a long time. One downside to the tempura is that it is a real pain in the neck to change strings. I've had to do that. I've had to change strings on multiple auto harps here in the shop, and I am, I am paid a fair wage, but I'm not sure there is a fair wage to be paid for changing auto harp strings. That's just a real time-consuming pain in the neck. So you got the big tuners up here, which are annoying, and then you got the little tuners down here, which are, how do they work? Wow! I, I have a couple guitars I could use those on. Those are not annoying at all. Those are great. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. It's actually kind of... I know I'm a singer, but this is it's pretty fun. You'll never know. So what's cool about it is that you're just creating a droney sound. All the other music that's happening, you can hear how it interacts with the drone, and it's that's what's cool. Is, that, is it cool? I think it's cool. Whoops. Sure wish I had someone here who knew what they were doing. Sure wish I had someone here who had some tablets. It's a great shape. It's like a longhorn basketball. I feel like I should just do this every morning and kind of. Get my brain right. Really nice, actually. Wish that I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. <laughs> there is an intersection of country music and this thing to be explored. So someone go explore it for me. Send me the work tapes. I met a girl in Sweden once who had a little box about this big that she got in India that uh, made these noises just like this over and over. And she would play it like keyboard and guitar over it, and it sounded so cool. This thing is pretty cool. Might not have a lot of practical applications for country music, but I like it. I give it three out of five Ellen's. Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. Ooh, and it comes with this great hard shell case. Did I say that already? Here at whoa, you stay right there. Here at Fanny's House Music, we also sell vintage clothing. It's cold today, and I just don't feel like taking off any of my clothes, so here's something I can wear over them. This is a Gorgeous velvet vest with flowers. And that's all we know about it. I guess I just don't know what outfit you would wear with this, but probably not a sweatshirt with a skull on it. But you never know about fashion. You never know. It cannot be fastened. It's meant to just be worn loosey-goosey. It is forcing me to sit up straighter, so I guess that's a positive. I like touching this side. Lots of textures. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.